Hi everybody, welcome inside the Expo Center here, the trade show area, if you will, uh, at the 2010 uh, conference here in Albuquerque, New Mexico for the FMCA. And I'm here with uh, Reggie Collins, SMI Manufacturing, and we're going to talk a little bit about supplemental braking okay. and about the system that, uh, you, know, that you uh, have here as well. But first, a lot of people you know, ask, um, is it, do we have to have supplemental braking in every state? And I guess the answer is, it depends. Well, it, it does. Uh, about 13 states do have a, a law that says if you are flat towing, through, you know, through our state or in our state, sure. you need a supplemental break. Right. There is a law in just about every state. Uh, most of them do, um, they refer to the trailer towing law. Gotcha. And you think about it, there's nothing really any, any different than mm -hmm. towing a 3,000 or 4,000 pound trailer sure. than a three or 4,000 pound car. Sure. And tra travel trailers all have supplemental break. Yeah. And so one of the things you shared with me I thought was really interesting is this uh, meets uh, federal guidelines too. So mm -hmm. talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Yeah. We're the only one in, in the industry that actually meets the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard great. 121. Right. That's great. And what that says is if you are, if, if you're using the braking system of one unit mm -hmm. to brake a second unit, like sure. a tractor and trailer, sure. yeah. then you, you'll, you'll meet that, the standard. Okay. That's great. And this is what we've done. We've got a, actually we call this a tractor protection valve. Okay, protection great. Protection valve. We've got an independent air tank that mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. this is going to supply air to the, the supplemental brake okay. back in the and this, car. And this is going in the coach? This goes in the coach, okay. underneath, near the Makes rear sense. axle. All right. And this relay here is actually what uh, sends that air or disperses that air to the control unit yeah. of, of the braking system. Right. Which now that, is in the that car. does look pretty fancy now. So any of these coach owners can install this themselves, right? Well, they can, they can, or you know, go to any of our uh, our national dealers sure. throughout the network. Sure, it makes sense. We've got we supply a great 35 minute DVD. Right, right. Uh, the instructions are, are wonderful. I tell guys, I say, break the rules. Yeah. Real men can read instructions, you know? <laughs> That's great. So it's it's a super, uh, super instructions. Uh, but some people, you know, they're intimidated with that stuff. Yeah. So it's uh, go to any any dealer or anybody that's mechanically inclined. And they can take care of it for you. Yes, that's, no, that's exactly great. right. So yeah. then this is this is the you know the air unit that's going to yeah, go from what, the coach. What happens then? is that air coming out of the relay. Mm -hmm. This is mounted on the rear of the motorhome. Okay. So then you've got this male plug here. It's all okay. DOT certified. Quick that's connect. Great. Now what we got here is this is the air okay. line between sure. the coach and the car. Sure, that makes sense. And you're going to have a male a male plug okay. at the other end. All right, and so I feel like I've learned a lot uh, today. <laughs> okay. And so then, so this is called the actuator. This is the actuator. And now this actuator actually is controlled from the control box. Oh, okay. This is mounted underneath the hood of the car. Okay, great. So the air comes in here. Mm -hmm. Goes through a, it actually charges a cylinder that's used for breakaway. Right, right. And breakaway is kind of like life insurance. Okay, makes sense. One of those things that you got to have, but sure. you hope you never use. Right, yeah, exactly. So it goes through a vacuum generator, which is a Venturi. Okay. We generate that vacuum, and we do that because we want to, to make the, the brake in the car as sure. close to how it was manufactured. Sure, that makes sense. So we provide a vacuum to give it a power brake or right, power assist. Right, no, that makes sense. So the vacuum, there's there's a 3H hose that comes okay, out of this here. Great, great. Then the air comes out here, and now it goes to this actuator. Now this actuator, actually, if, if you can look at my sure. fingers being the brake yeah, pedal yeah. arm, uh, this clamps to the great. brake pedal arm. Okay. So the air comes here. Now if you just, just give me just a little pressure here. Okay. I'll turn this like this. This prevents the cylinder from blowing oh, this way. Gotcha. Makes so sense. the only thing that can happen is the piston oh, okay. moves your brake back. Right. Well, and you've got a you've got an example right over here I, that we I can did. show, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's yeah. let's take a look at that. Okay. What we have here is our stay and play duo. Okay. Hence the name duo. It takes sure. two triggers. It's an AND gate. Oh, okay. Okay. You got to have your foot on the brake of the motorhome. Right. And you have to be stopping or decelerating. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so what happens if I just show that? Once those two are satisfied. This being my brake pedal. Okay. The Excellent. actuator draws the brake down. Okay. And Perfect. There. Now, if either one of those triggers disappears, like you right. take your foot off the brake, or you slow down to satisfy the G-force controller here, which it, this is all installed in the car. Sure. Sure. Makes sense. When that's satisfied, then the brake will release. And, and it's just normal. Yeah, it's you know overall it's gonna it's solving a complex problem um, with a simple solution. It just makes perfect sense to me. Yes, yeah, it makes yes. it makes perfect mm -hmm. sense. So so you've got coach owners all over the United States. They're using the uh, using the system. Oh yeah, yep. yeah, that's yep. great. Yep. And so people that um, want to find out more information, where do they go online? Well, they can go to smibreak.com. Okay. And uh, it's the website. They can 
they can click on any of the links uh, okay. to take them to either the, the break itself, the installation instructions. That's great. Or they can call our uh, our 800 number that's on that okay. uh, website as well. Well, that's great. Now, in terms of the, the pricing on these, they're obviously two different systems. So they, uh, so what where, where kind of price point are they at? Well, uh, the the Air Force One retails for 10.99. Oh, okay. And the Duo retails for 9.99. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. So affordable solutions yes, uh, right. to safety. Very so. very cheap insurance. Absolutely. To, to enable you to to slow that car car down. And the other thing too is. We want to use the power brake. We don't over brake. Sure. It, it, the, the thing is, is you do not want to try to stop the car or stop the motorhome right. with the car. The, right. the physics just that, isn't there. That doesn't. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Great innovations here in Albuquerque, uh, New Mexico, at the 2010 FMCA conference from SMI Manufacturing. Thanks, Reggie. We appreciate okay, well, it very much. You. And I thank you, folks at home. We we'll need to take a look at this product. I'm Ryan Dorn for the Family Motor Coach Association from Albuquerque, New Mexico.